Hello folks and welcome. Debian 12 Bookworm except CE Desktop 418. And you can see the rest of the particulars here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about this panel bar on the bottom and the panel bar on the top. Panel bar on the bottom, maybe you want bigger icons, maybe you want this longer, maybe you want that semi see-through. Um, maybe you want to stretch this out a little bit farther. Maybe you want to place some icons on here. I have one extra one of GIMP. Um, so I'll be doing most of this uh, in the same fashion. This is panel one, panel two. And uh, I would say about 97% of the settings are the same, but there are some slight differences. And uh, more importantly, if you would uh, like to subscribe, I have an icon in the corner of a person with yellow brackets. Filming in 1920 by 1080. Welcome, folks. Adjust your YouTube player if necessary. If you're curious about my wallpaper or background, this is Crater Lake, Oregon, USA, in winter of 2021. This lake is beautiful in the summer. It's bright, bright blue water. I'm going to right-click on this panel bar. And we're going to first talk about maybe using a screenshot tool. You can open up your application finder and type in SC. Screenshots I do recommend when you're playing with panel bars. You can do the entire screen depending on how colorful your backgrounds are. The files will be longer, I'm sorry, larger, larger as far as file size. Active window only takes a picture of this box. You can lay the tool right on top of it if you like. And you can also do select a region. Do an OK and save it to whatever folder you want to save. That's all I'm going to say about that tool. I will recommend screenshots though when I talk about things. Let's start at the bottom. Automatically increase the length. We're dealing with panel 2. That's the bottom one. Panel 1 is on the top. You can see I have a selection of 2. Start with this. I'm going to turn this off. It looks like a sliver has a little box. So I don't recommend that you turn this off. The length of the panel, whether you crank this down to one, doesn't really change because it's accommodating these icons. As you increase this in size, this is still not long enough for me to get extra room. You can see I'm up to 241. However, when I crank this up to 1100, I get some extra room in here. You can go from full screen, again, filming in 1920 by 1080. So hence my screen is 1920 across. So I got lots of room in here now. I can kind of go in between. So I'm going to leave it there for a second because I'm going to also talk about the appearance a little bit later. But I'm going to first keep going on this first tab on display. So you're allowed six rows. Use them wisely, as one would say. Okay, I'll move this up in the air and crank that back down to one. The size of these icons are determined by the pixel sizes, so I'll make this smaller for you. And then I'll go the opposite direction. Okay, so you get the idea. I'll leave it at about a 93. Comfortable on my screen. Sometimes graphic cards are a little bit different. All right, so the next item is automatically hide the panel. What exactly does that mean versus never or always? Intelligently just means if you have a window of, um, I'll just use file manager. Gary is our made up user for today and um, there'll be a reason I'm gonna be mentioning that name because I'm gonna use an icon and you'll see it'll say Gary on it. So as I move the window close to that, that moves out of the way. As I pull it back up, it reappears. If I go full screen, it disappears. So far, so good? Okay. That's intelligently. It does the same thing with a web browser if it's in full screen. It kind of goes out of the way, and then you can kind of bring that up and down. All right, right click, panel, preferences. Always is literally always. Now, if you decide to turn this on, I will tell you, you will lose a little real estate when you are in full screen. Or I should say the wrong settings, pardon me. Never is what I meant to say, I apologize. 
Never just means this is going to stay here. So uh, it doesn't matter which web browser. I'm going to use a different one. This is Brave. Okay, so you'll notice that part of the browser is cut off because I lost all the real estate over here on the sides because of the size of the par. And if you want a, a different browser, then I will open up Firefox. And I can resize the innards on the fly. That's not a big deal. I can do that with my control key on my computer um, and my computer mouse. I have shown these tricks on my other videos. But more importantly, let me continue. Right click, preferences. We have never. So the other one is always. And that just literally means it goes out of the way and you have to find your panel. So if you're in the, um, I'll open up the browser again. I'll use Firefox this time. Uh, if I move my mouse cursor down here, nothing happens. I have to be in the center to open that up or however wide this box is. Okay. So far, so good. All right. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit uh, panel preferences and go back to my intelligently hide. Okay. And also depending on your height of your panel, you may not see those little dashes there on both sides. Okay. Now the reason I left this this wide is for the next setting. This one only works on panel two on my machine. Maybe some other graphic cards maybe behave differently, but uh, my machine is fairly low spec. It's not the top of the line computer. And more importantly, um, I am going to just click that to 36 and then close it. If you look at the bottom panel, it's sort of grayed out. You can see the trees through that panel bar. As I move my mouse cursor downstairs, it lights up. This may not be a feature that some people want, but I'm just showing it. So I'm going to go back to preferences, appearance, and turn this opacity leave off. Then I'm going to go to items. Uh, a lot of time I prefer to use this to move the furniture or move the icons around. You can also right click and move these. And as soon as you find a red line, you can drop them. So right here, I can't do that. I'd have to do it in here. Okay, that's one way. Right click, panel preferences, items. All right, so sometimes you'll see the word a whole bunch of launchers and you have no idea what these are. So you have a symbol here that looks like a file with a wrench on it. Highlight the item that you're interested in and click that and it'll tell you what it is. So this is file manager. This launcher here is web browser. You can probably take a guess at the approximation, but I'm just showing you how to do that. So if I wanted to move this filing cabinet, the file manager over, say, maybe toward the end, so I need to find that. So we know that's number one. So that's easy find. And then I use the arrow key and walk it across. Keep in mind, this is the last icon. I don't have anything here currently. So you can move these around. Screenshots are recommended before you play. So I don't know what this launcher is, but I can go and do that. Oh, that's the web browser. Okay, I'll move that around now him on the end. You get the idea? Okay. Now let's talk about putting some icons here. I'm going to do it my way. So you can click open your application finder and you're going to do keyword searches. In my case, I'm just going to uh, find something. I'll do appearance just because it's sitting there. I'm going to grab the icon, click and drag, and then go find a red line. See, there's no red line there. There's a red line. Create launcher. I'll find another one. I'll pick this one. No red line. Oh, I need to find a red line. Oh, there it is. So you got to move it around just a hair. All right, now I'm, what's the two ways that I can use to move these? Well, I can right click and do the move thing as long as I find a red line, right? Or I can right click panel preferences items and go find that. So we know that's this one here. I'll just do the um, wrench thing, the appearance. So that one's easy. That one's highlighted and then I can move it across. Okay. 
So the other icon, this one, is now what? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So it's one of these two. So it's that one. Move that across and close. If you noticed also, the panel adjusted itself automatically. So I'm going to remove these and let you see it'll shrink. Why don't we get rid of this extra space? How do we do that? Right click, panel preferences, automatically adjust, close, right click, remove. It readjusted itself, right click, remove. All right, right click, panel, preferences, items. We can also add new toys. I can also do it another way, right click, panel, add new. So what I'm going to do is, you see these buttons up here? Action buttons, power icons, buttons, icons. If you've ever seen any of my videos, I use different terminology sometimes. So anyways, it's one of the reasons. What would happen if I hit the add key? It puts it down here. You notice it says Gary on it. Ah, there's where that Gary thing came in. Gary's our user for today. Right click, remove. Right click, panel, add. Action buttons, add. Gary's over here. Click on them. You've got your standard buttons just like I had it in the corner originally, and then I converted them and threw them over here. So let's, con how do you convert these? Well, first of all, do you want them here or do you want them somewhere else? I'll leave them here for now. Right click, properties, convert that from appearance, session menu to action buttons. All of a sudden you have a bunch of icons that just populated. Turn the ones you don't want off. I'm gonna, I don't care for lock, switch user, separator and suspend. Scrolling down, I do want the restart screen, and I'm, I have two logout buttons. I'm going to activate both of them so you can see what they are. These both look the same, except that says logout and that says log out. Log out, log out. So yes, they are the same verbiage, but they do different functions. One is literally auto logging you out, which I find silly. And this one here is the multifunction one. This is the same one as this one here. Your choice though. Now, if you decide to move these, they move as a set. Right click, move. It doesn't matter which one I do. I'm looking for a red line again. So down at the end, if I can squeeze it in, sometimes it's tough, they move as a set. Right click on this icon this time and move. They move as a set. Right click, panel, preferences, items, action buttons is a lot easier for me to play with this. I'm moving that across. Now they're at the end. I'm moving to the opposite end and I'm done. So close, right click, properties. I'm gonna turn both of these off. Now I just have the two and I'll leave the one on the top the same. So again, you can drag these icons here and they'll self adjust depending on how your panel bar is set up. Let's go to the top now. Right click, panel, preferences. We're now dealing with panel one. Panel one is on the top, panel two is on the bottom. So panel one is done the same way. You have the size and again, it's accommodating for whatever I have open. You can do the, uh, if you drag this to this side and do that, you get the sliver. Don't recommend that. It auto adjusted itself for the, to accommodate the icons. You can go full 1920 by 1080 is what I'm filming in today. You're allowed six rows, kind of looks ridiculous. And uh, when you increase, increase the icons here, they're not quite exactly the same as these. You're going to start losing some real estate up here when you're doing this. They, yes, they become bigger, 
but they're also doubling up to try to make some room for all this stuff. So a slightly different effect, as one would say. If you decide, um, by the way, the default on panel one is never hide it, never. If you decide to go with intelligently on this panel, I will open up a browser and let you see the effect. Okay, it is full screen, yes. And it is convenient for some part. Hopefully that's large enough for you. Holding down the control key while scrolling with my computer mouse. Anyways, a lot of people are aiming for the X, but they miss trigger and, and activate the calendar. However, if you're okay with that, if you gently do this, you can do that rather easily. If you overshoot, it opens up your panel. Okay, so I will um, pull that down a little bit. So now it reappears and stay that, stays that way until I go full screen. So it's out of the way. Maybe an inconvenient factor to some. Right click, panel, preferences. Your choice though. The default is never. Let me go over to the appearance side and do the same thing with the opacity and let you see that on my machine, it does not do anything. When I close, the panel is still dark gray or black. I don't see the seat, uh, trees through it. Okay, just wanted to let you see the effect that I have on my machine. Maybe some other graphic cards behave differently, but this is what I, the effect that I get. Same thing with this. Again, you can rearrange the furniture. Screenshots are recommended. Um, some of these are easily identifiable. So you'll see the clock, obviously, in the corner. And if you want to flip these, you can move the clock over here in application menu that way. So I'll do that just as an example. So the clock's in the corner, and I'll grab a hold of the application menu and throw it on the other side. So now it's over here, and my clock uh, calendar thing is over here. Power keys are over here. So normally they're in this corner. So I'm going to put this back to where it was. I find this easy. Can you actually move these manually? Yes. Right click, move. Okay. So I'm going to remove these on purpose because they're normally not here. Right click, panel, add new items is one way. Right click, panel, preferences, items, add new items. It doesn't matter which one you use. Okay. So I will just do this the simple way. Right click, panel, add new. Action buttons and hit add. It puts Gary right in the right hand corner. And if you are a new user and haven't noticed, depending on how long your username is, it will be in the corner most likely, if you haven't noticed that. And it does have a shutdown, logout, and all that good stuff. Or you can use that one. All right, can I move Gary around here? Yes, but I prefer to just to do it this way myself. Again, that's your choice. So I'm going to grab the action buttons and move them somewhere else. I'll place it over here. When I get Gary's name across there, then we can deal with these settings. Right click, properties, convert to action buttons. Again, I'm going to turn off the stuff I don't need. I could leave both of these on, but again, they both say log out, so it's confusing, right? One of these is the auto, and one of these is the multifunction. Either way. Right click, panel, preferences. I talked about the increase. Automatically, don't suggest turning off. Row size, be sparing about that one on the top panel, panel one. I talked about on my network card, network card, try it again, graphics card. On my, my graphics doesn't handle transparency on the top bar, and maybe that's something that uh, I haven't tested a lot of machines with this, but I don't use that feature at all. On the top, the bottom one, you can certainly do that with. And then again, you can rearrange the furniture here. Screenshots, one more time, are recommended. Okay.
Thank you for watching.